jacket, jacket, microphone, jacket, the crowd round when silent J came to wreck it. Check it, check it, check it, check it, microphone, check it. The crowd goes wild when silent J is a Yeah. There. So Hello everyone. This is Silent J again with Sertronics for another YouTube tutorial lesson on how to navigate the treacherous waters of YouTube chat rooms. So anyway, anyhow, why do I talk about this? Because I want to help people not fall into bait traps. Don't get baited. Don't get the bait hate. Stop the bait hate. And why do I care? I don't know. I don't, why do I even care about this? I'm going to start talking about happy stuff. Funny stuff. Oh, like this new series, uh, The Loop. Wow, that show... I, I binge watched it, but I was doing other stuff, so I didn't pay attention to, like, some of the episodes. I paid attention enough to just get the gist of what was going on. And then the last episode, like, wow, that last episode was amazing. Like, I have to go back and watch all those other episodes just to, like, put that together. It's like a, it's a really nuanced form of sci-fi, like, uh, they combine, it's, I think it's like a alternate parallel universe, alternate reality, like 80s world, but instead of like, I think instead of building nuclear weapons, they figure out how to do like, uh, time shifting and dimension, dim like, uh, jumping in and out of time vortexes or something, like, it's, it's pretty cool, they have like, I think it's based on artwork from the Swedish dude. Uh, he did some artwork of like putting some science fiction stuff into just normal everyday pictures. And then like, it, I guess it became a role playing game and then made a show about it. And uh, it's a really good show. Like when you're watching, you, you, you might kind of like drift off and you're like, oh, what's this about? Like, it, it's like episodic, but then they're all connected at the very last episode. So. If you're watching it, you got to pay attention, but it's definitely worth And what, what I think about it, also devs, that's another example of a very well done nuanced sci-fi that just seems like a slow burn, but like it makes your mind just spin and think in all different directions, like tram lines and alternate realities, or is it just one reality and all this kind of things, like it makes you think. And what, what, um... What I was thinking about is, why can't Star Trek be like that? What, they could make a whole, the whole Star Trek Picard, if you watch, just watch the loop and think about all eight episodes, how that, each one could have been a Star Trek episode, Star Trek Picard, instead of this goofy thing about robots and just robot supreme robot destroying the universe or because to make the robot survive like just think if star trek went back to being nuanced and like clever science fiction just watch the loop and when you're watching it just think wow how could how could this be a star trek episode and you can like uh that's what kind of i was doing but not really I'm going to go back and watch them and think, wow, how could, how could have this been a Star Trek episode? And that's like how TNG was like, don't get me wrong. I like, I like militaristic Starfleet. It's not that bad, but I don't know. Star Trek Picard is just like the first four episodes, like seem like it's going to go on in a good direction. And then I, I just lost, I couldn't follow the storyline after that. It's just like, People would show up, like, this Trill in the board cube, like, why does it meet the robot girl and, like, act like they're gonna, like, spin off out and then it's just gone. Like, nothing's explained, like, the Romulan supernova's not explained. They never really, like, 
flashback to who did Mars. You're just like, oh, the Romulans did it. Okay, well, how did they do it? Nobody knows. And then there's these Ferris Rangers, and, like, they're protecting the Romulan border. Uh, okay. And 7 of 9 is, like, part of the Ferris Rangers, but they don't ever tell you why. And there's just, like, so many other confusing things that just is never, never explained. It just goes in, like, 50 different plot threads. And just, like, I feel like I have ADD watching this show now. Like, I don't know. It, it was good. Like, the, I don't know. Maybe I have to rewatch it. Maybe things connected and I just missed it. And then, and then there's, like, uh, 500 million Romulans on a planet. And they're just, like, stuck there. Like, why are they stuck there? Can't somebody come pick them up? Like, I don't know, like, a bunch, there's a bunch of other things that just didn't, they just don't explain it, and there's, like, so much of that was wasted about them and the ship, and, like, talking about their feelings and the board cube, oh my gosh, the board cube, oh my gosh, that was, like, the, I don't even know how to explain the board cube thing, it just, like, it didn't, it didn't, did it even need to be there? I don't know. And giant flowers, like three giant flowers just take down a board cube. And then a Romulan fleet just cuts flowers to shreds. Like how, how did the flowers take down the board cube? Like, yeah. Like some of it just doesn't make sense. But I don't know, maybe I have to watch it again. And I just didn't because I was getting a bad, you know, when you get a bad vibe about a show. And then you just don't want to figure it out, or maybe that's what it was. But I don't know. It just just lost me. Like uh, it just seemed like the first four episodes. You know, it wasn't. The, why did I just scratch my nose? Am I lying? <laughs> like the first four episodes seemed like it was going in a good good path, and then it just seemed like somebody else came in and, and totally changed changed the the flip script around and just like a whole new story started like what that i don't know okay it it, it it i thought it was gonna be good and then it just lost me that's all i can say about it but i would definitely watch devs which is on hulu i don't know if it's on fx and watch the loop which is on amazon prime those are both great shows and if you watch those shows, just think, wow, how could have that, what if that was Star Trek or Star Trek Picard or some version of Star Trek? So, yeah, that's all I got to say. Sorry for the negativity at the start, but always be careful. Put on your digital Jimmy hats and everyone have a wonderful, wonderful life. Wonderful, wonderful, whatever. I'm so happy, we're so happy, won't you be happy too?